We are visiting right now a redevelopment of one of the largest coal mines in uh, the western part of Germany. We're in Dortmund. They have created a lake from an old industrial site as a transition project. In Germany and the United States, coal still plays an important role as an energy source. Nevertheless, the sector is employing fewer and fewer people. Why? Mining coal releases heavy metals, which is harmful for people and the environment. Burning coal also produces huge amounts of greenhouse gases that speed climate change. Coal plants are also shutting down because of market factors that give an edge to more profitable energy sources like natural gas and renewables. Even though many people in Kentucky don't necessarily agree on things like climate change, the world is moving in a certain direction. We have to respond to that in a way that doesn't leave the people behind that are most directly affected. Coal helped power the Industrial Revolution and the transformation of our economies. This heritage is a source of pride for many communities, and the transition away from coal is no easy task. We've heard from people here that there is life after coal. These are people who are very, very proud of their coal heritage, which is very similar uh, to what we see back home in central Appalachia. Some former coal regions have already started to reinvent themselves. In Essen, Germany, an old mine was transformed into a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In neighboring Dortmund, a former steel plant site was converted into a nanotechnology hub and recreation area. A family-owned company in Bochum went from producing gearboxes for mines to producing gearboxes for wind turbines. Throughout Germany and the rest of the European Union, jobs in renewables already outnumber those in coal. The thing that struck me most is that the amount of investment that the German government in a variety of ways has put into these communities. They're using their heritage and their history as an asset to uh, build culture in a place so that they can remember where they've come from, but also look forward to building the community that they want to see in the future. In a challenging situation when we're facing real risk, um, we can do two things. We can decide not to fight it, we can decide not to come together, we can decide not to accept and adapt, or we can, we can work on it, you know, jointly. And, and I see a just transition as the way to do just that. These cities have shown that life after coal is possible. With this just transition, we can create good jobs and a sustainable future for our communities.